LSU Odyssey Podcast National Signing Day Special with your host, Law Phillips Sullivan. And it is the day of the limelight. We're we're beyond the gilded page here, Getty. Um it's National Signing Day, baby. Are you pumped up or what? Or do I have to be pumped up for, for all of you? Um, because I'm hearing a little bit of uh, some wayward talk from some LSU fans thinking today isn't all going to go LSU's way. Excuse me. If LSU end this day with at least one of those two five-star players, today is a success for LSU football recruiting going ahead. Getting Jacoby Matthews or Harold Perkins, finishing that, finishing the class, getting another Louisiana native five-star, um, you know, that would be ideal. And then you get, you know, we have big chance to get both. Brian Kelly has a big chance to get both after this weekend of strong, strong recruit visiting finishes. But as you saw in the LSUodyssey.com National Signing Day piece, LSU isn't going to get everybody. Okay? We can't lay claim to everybody. And you know what? There's a lot of Louisiana abroad in the SEC, too, who are out there on the recruiting trail. Namely, Billy Napier, Corey Raymond, at Florida. And I think today you will see what Billy Napier can do on the recruiting trail. And it's dangerous if you're an LSU fan. Uh, But I don't see too much attrition from Nick Saban or Alabama today outside of Danny Lewis Jr. Danny Lewis Jr.'s signature, that, that is the competition. That is the main competition between us Alabama, we'll see what happens there. Can LSU reel in Danny Lewis Jr., the Westgate prodigy tight end, or will he, you know, find it in his best interests to boogie on to, you know, greener pastures and go to, you know, get out of state? There's been a lot of there's been a lot of Louisiana guys who, who have no problem leaving state. It's just for the right option, and if the bet if that option isn't there, they have no problem playing for LSU. It times have changed, y'all. Okay, times have changed. Okay, with the transfer portal, everybody's kind of got a price now with NIL, and uh, business decisions are being made today. No question there. But life and future decisions, as you will see with a few of these guys, will be it will be evident that those are being made today. Um, it's going to be an intense day, a long, crazy day. We got Harold Perkins clear at 3.30. We got Jalen Davis Robinson about to announce here, and I think he's about to go to LSU. That's what our pick is. Our National Signing Day picks are now unlocked for free. Go check them out there. Got all the intelligence and info. I wanted everybody to be included on National Signing Day. And, um, you know, it's going to be it's going to be a great day. And uh, regardless of some losses, you know, I, we've got LSU losing Caleb Douglas and Trevante Citizen to Florida, you know. That's what we've got. We'll see what happens. I think uh, I think what Florida's new wide receivers coach was able to do um, may be able to, to seal Caleb uh, Caleb Douglas away from LSU as well. Even though LSU went hard with the with the recruiting visits, the in home visits lately down the stretch with Caleb Douglas, 
I think uh, with him and Trevante Citizen, it really doesn't make sense for either to come to LSU when you look at the, the, the LSU roster. Especially, I think the news of Noah Kane's arrival really was something that made Trevante Citizen feel like, okay, I don't think I'm the priority here. We'll see. We'll see if he if he says, hey, to hell with it. Let's be competitive and fight for a spot at LSU. That would be great. That would be fantastic. LSU would have one of the deepest running back cores at that point. But I think uh, I think we're uh, I just don't know if we'll see that. But I think LSU about to get a, a good corner here from from Waxahachie. Jalen Davis Robinson. Only one year playing corner. He's he's raw. He's going to need to to develop under Kerry Cooks. He's going to be a project player, but you know I think he's got a lot of upside. I think, as you've seen on on our National Signing Day piece, I believe the LSU have the chance to get Harold Perkins here. A big chance here. I think, I think we won over the family. But you know we'll we'll see what we'll see what happens with Harold Perkins. I think he's the biggest roll of the dice here. For me, I feel like Jacoby Jacoby Matthews. I almost said Jacoby. Stevens. Jacoby Matthews. I feel like he is an L, not an LSU lock, but a definite LSU lean here. I think there's definite LSU trending here. Getting that final visit was huge, but it was the manner in how LSU, you know, went about that final visit that I think really goes a long way with Jacoby Matthews. When you've got Frank Wilson, you know, I, I, I think Frank Wilson played a huge role here, okay? Frank Wilson played a dynamic role here coming in late, and, you know, Kerry Cooks did it as well. Robert Steeples coming in, but, you know, Kerry Cooks is going to be that guy with the safeties, Robert Steeples is going to be coaching the corners. Um, that is confirmed. But, you know, a lot of LSU fans are, are hanging their heads about today because we're not going to get everybody. Well, that's fine. We don't get anybody every year. But do you think Orgeron would have had a chance with Perkins coming into today? Do you think the Orgeron regime would have even had a sniff of a chance? At Jacoby Matthews coming in National Signing Day today, let alone both Harold Perkins and Jacoby Matthews, I don't think so. So I think what Brian Kelly's done is a hell of a job, and I think we'll see the fruit of those labors today. But you know, this is National Signing Day. Things could be, things could get crazy. Things could flip. There's still some uncertainty in the air. NIL is out there, baby. Don't sleep on that factor, okay? Don't sleep on the numbers factor. And, you know, don't sleep on the processing factor as well, okay? We're going to see what happens here. There's going to be some craziness going down. And stay tuned to LSUodyssey.com. We're going to be covering every speck of today.